Welcome to Mischief Wargaming. I'm John and this is Star Trek Alliance. The Dominion War continues as our captains respond to a distress call from the Gamma Quadrant. Our runabout shuttle was collecting mineral samples before the Dominion arrived and gave chase. As the only ships close enough, Captains Evelyn Vega and Jataka LaSalle are there to provide cover as the runabout races towards the wormhole back to Bajor. The mission is simple, escort the runabout back to safety. Victory depends entirely on whether this ship survives. Captain Vega's Akira-class ship, the USS Yo, is pretty much exactly the same as the previous mission. Packing quantum torpedoes and bringing a notable tactical officer, the Akira should hopefully live up to its reputation as a torpedo boat and take the fight to the Dominion. Similarly, Captain Lascelles' Excelsior-class ship, the USS Combs, is likewise kitted out exactly the same as the previous mission. Equipped with reinforced shielding and photon torpedoes and bring a notable science officer, the ship is more rounded than the Yo, but still capable of packing a punch. The pursuing Dominion Wing is made up of Jem'Hadar attack ships. They are under orders to focus on the runner route to the exclusion of almost anything else. There are two attack ships already on the board, with more on the way. The mission begins with the runabout banking to the left. The runabout always moves first and will always gain an evade token. The first attack ship rolls a two speed forward move. And gains the battle station's token as the runabout is in range. The second attack ship banks to the right, also going on battle stations. The Combs goes at full impulse. Gaining a target lock on the nearby attack ship. The Yo banks to the right. Going on battle stations. The Yo then opens fire on the attack ship. They use the battle stations token to cause free hits. The Jim Hadar uses their own battle stations token to evade the shot. The Combs follows up with only a single hit. They use their target lock to re-roll two of the dice. A second hit is rolled and the Dominion ship can only evade some of the incoming fire, knocking their shields down to half strength. The attack ship fires on the runabout, but with the long range and an intervening asteroid, the runabout is able to evade the shots with no problem. The first Jem'Hadar ship then makes a shot, using their battle stations token. But the range means the runabout avoids any damage. It's the start of the second turn, and a new Jem'Hadar attack ship enters the board. Their bearing puts them at the furthest point from the runabout. A bit of luck for Starfleet. 
the runabout banks to avoid the nearby planet. The first attack ship banks to the right. Going on battle stations. The second would make a short move, but with the asteroid in the way, they swerve to the right, losing their shot. The newest Jem'Hadar ship banks towards the others, but is too far away to do much. So they gain a scan token. The Combs bank to the right. Gaining another target lock on the Dominion ship. The Yo banks to the left. Going on battle stations. The Akira class then opens fire on the Jem'Hadar. Scoring a critical and two hits. Three once they use their battle stations token. The Dominion ship evades half of the incoming fire losing their shield, and taking some damage and suffering a critical hit. The Combs makes a follow-up shot using their target lock to re-roll. And cause another critical hit. This critical was a direct hit, which causes extra damage, which is more than enough to destroy the Dominion ship. The first Dominion ship fires at the runabout. This time the shot connects and the runabout loses their shields. At the start of the new turn, the runabout banks to the left around the planet. The first Jem'Hadar ship charges forward, The newest attack ship goes at full speed, but with an asteroid in the way, they need to take a slower swerve to the left. The USS Combs banks slowly to the left. Requiring a target lock on the approaching attack ship. The USS Yo makes a K turn, flipping the ship around and going on an auxiliary power. The Combs fires on the Dominion ship.
they use their target lock to score free hits. The gem had used their battle stations token to reduce the damage and lose the shields. The Dominion ships are under orders to focus exclusively on the runabout, but there is one exception. If the runabout is far enough away and a Starfleet ship is in close range, then that becomes their target. The Combs, however, evades the shot. Turn 4 begins and a new ship enters the battlefield, a Jem'Hadar Elite. Their bearing is just as bad as the last Jem'Hadar though, entering the board from the furthest corner to the runabout. The runabout banks to the right, continuing to evade. The first attack ship continues going at full impulse. In Alliance, the AI-controlled ships can overlap the planets, while player-controlled ships can't. Getting a battle station's token. The third attack ship makes a right turn. but still too far away for a shot. The Combs performs their own K-turn, going on auxiliary power. Meanwhile, the Yo makes a trivial bank, allowing them to come off of auxiliary power. The newly arrived elite makes a bank to the right, but is currently too far to do anything. The Yo fires on the Dominion ship, missing everything. However, they use their tactical officer to re-roll everything, causing two hits and a critical. The Jem'Hadar fails to evade, so the ship's shields are disabled and they take whole damage and a critical hit. Another direct hit. The Jem'Hadar attack ship is destroyed. We're now halfway to the turn limit and the runabout looks relatively safe now as they continue banking. The remaining attack ship banks to the right still too far to attack their target. The Combs makes a simple bank, going off of auxiliary power. The Yo banks to the left. Gaining a target lock on the attack ship. The elite ship tries to close the distance. The Combs attacks the Jem'Hadar attack ship. The shot only causes a single hit, which the Jem'Hadar is able to evade. Turn 6 sees the runabout near the Federation board edge. The attack ship goes to bank to the right, but needs to swerve. Instead, banking left. And pretty much ensures the runabout survives.
The cones banks left. Getting a target lock on the Dominion ship. The Yo barely moves, knowing they aren't really in a position to attack the Dominion's forces. The Elite continues to close the distance, but it's too little too late. They open fire on the cones though. The Excelsior are taking hits, but their reinforced shielding is still intact. The Combs attacks the Jem'Hadar attack ship. Knocking down their shields. But it's over for the Dominion, as turn 7 begins with the runabout leaving the Federation board, immediately ending the game. Starfleet win as the runabout approaches the wormhole and will be back at Deep Space Line in no time. The Dominion had some terrible luck with the reinforcements. Both ships entered the battle too far away to have any impact on the game. Which in turn lets Starfleet focus fire on single attack ships. One big advantage to winning this game is that it means that Dominion cannot earn enough influence to end the campaign early. Whilst the victory is of course good news, it comes at a cost. With only one runabout to defend, the captain's only gained one experience. For Captain Vega, this isn't a big deal, as she increases her crew skill. But it stings for Captain Lassell, who now needs at least another game to upgrade her ship. But I shouldn't complain, that ended up being a relatively easy game. And that was Star Trek Alliance. The Dominion's effort feels lacking for now, but I know the difficulty will ramp up, especially in the later parts in the other campaigns, when the other powers get involved. But for now, the Dominion are on the back foot as Starfleet secure the mineral samples. There's one more mission in Act 2 before moving on to the finale. But for now, we've got listening posts to defend. In the meantime, there's some Fallout factions on the way. But if you have any suggestions for games for me to check out, let me know in the description or over on Instagram. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care.